What is the reason why managers try to avoid a conflict in a negotiation? What is the, the well, main reason? They're, they're afraid of the conflict as something negative so that they withdraw from it, okay. not wanting to engage it. So I think the mindset has to shift that conflict is basically something positive because the conflict is based on difference. And once you take it not as a personal affront to your power, but as a problem to be solved, then it changes the whole thing. And a deadlock is actually, it's hard to say, but is a kind of opportunity. I don't think anybody should be afraid of a deadlock because a deadlock says now we've reached a certain point and we have to go deeper into unraveling that. That's interesting. My observation is that uh, deadlock and conflict comes with um, damage, um, relationship is destroyed. Um, it's always negative, isn't it? No, I, I, that, I, that's my view. Yeah. And when I'm teaching leadership, which is the, the framework for, for negotiation, we really want the mindset to change, to think about conflict as something constructive because it's based on what? Difference. And difference in and of itself is good. Now, you read the newspaper, I do, we know darn well, conflicts can be very destructive, can be the end of a relationship. But if you're a good negotiator, you're very sensitive to renewing the connection. Don't let the conflict destroy the bond. Now, the bond can be broken in a conflict, but it can be repaired. 